Good time crew. Good time crew. Welcome back. In the building. You know what? I'm trying to flex the little bit of muscle I have because of the title of this video. Yes. Yep. We are also not fans. Not in the least out. bit. Rest <laughs> in peace to one of the greats. Justin's oversized sweater on me. There it's it not is. oversized on him. It's but. small on me. But rest in peace to one of the greats, Ralphie Mae. But he wasn't a fan of working out. And let me be honest, I'm not either, and mm. Stacey's not either. No, I hate we, it. We just do it because we feel like we have to. You yeah. know, we have to, like, you know. Plus, once you do it, it does make us feel a little bit better after. Because then, you know, we go eat, like, some falafel and a salad. But, <laughs> but I'm still not a fan of it. So let's find out like it. what Ralphie May had to say about working out. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Guys, check us out up here. Yes, please do that. And let's do this. My trainer's motto is no pain, no gain. My motto is no pain. I'm cool with that. And she wants me to warm up on the treadmill by walking four miles, and she doesn't include that in the workout. That's a warm up. No, damn it, that's a workout. Four miles? Okay, that's a long way. I'm over 400 pounds. I mean, that ain't like this little skinny little little flower this guy is. I'm a grown ass man. That's like 16 miles to your skinny ass. That's a long ass walk. That's not really warm up. Really. First two miles I got, it's the eye of the tiger. You know, rising up, you know, I'm feeling it. No problem. But then next two miles, boy, I build up a friction between my thighs, you can light a cigarette on. <laughs> if I were to roast the nuts, I'd have got me a can of planters, you know what I'm saying? I try to combat it though. I put a lot of powder down there. I got so much gold bond powder on right now, it looks like I've been molesting donuts. That ain't right. Between mile three and four, all my powder turns to pancake batter. I make a little seven dollar flapjacks on a treadmill. It ain't right, y'all. Is that what this is in She got me on a diet. I'm watching the Food Network like it's porn. <laughs> I'm in hell. It's tough being fat in California. They don't like fat people. When I moved to California, they tried to turn me away at the border. Sorry, fatty. Get out of here. Come on. I had to sneak in like I was Mexican. <laughs> you laugh, I sold carpets for two weeks, it ain't easy. It's easier in Hollywood to be fat, in America in general, to be fat if you're a man than it is to be a woman. Because in our society, you're not fat if you're a man until you're 100 pounds more of a weight. Anything under 100 pounds, you're fat. You're not fat, you're like chubby, big boned, or coach. <laughs> But girls, it ain't ever about 100 pounds as a ladies. It's about 10, 15 pounds. Yep. In California, it's like 6 or 7 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> girls, you get constantly bombarded with the feeling how you're not a, you know, you're inadequate. Somehow you don't look appropriate. You know, girls, you go to the grocery store, ladies, all you want to do is buy you some ice cream. Right? Go home, smoke you a joint because you're, it's your time of the month. Oh. <laughs> Watch you something, take your bra off and have a cry. <laughs> right? That's all you want to do, right? But before you can get out of the grocery store checkout line, them little skinny model bitches are making you feel in bad about yourself. Them little windblown whores who, <laughs> with their hair all flying around wearing a $4,000 ugly dress with a big ass hole in it. They're like, no, that's designer. Bitch, that's a hole! That's a whole They got those big fake lips like they just burned somebody's breakfast in Alabama. That's true. I'm super tired of those lips. Y'all know them skinny ass white girls ain't supposed to have big old soup coolers. You know I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> soup coolers. It's got so wrong, man. It's got them little Olsen twin babies, them little babies. Oh. I feel so bad for them. They're so skinny. Last week they fell down on the set and they got faxed to the hospital. <laughs> it ain't right. <laughs> Hollywood makes skinny people famous even if they don't have any talent, like Paris Hilton. That girl's nasty. <laughs> I downloaded her porn. My computer got a virus and a source. 
You like that one? say I think Ralphie Mae would be proud of how people have evolved. I was going to say because now, now the, the girls BBL are, is everything. They get yeah. all that. They get yeah, the they silicone in their doing butt. The butts. Yep. Oh, and the white girls too. Yep, and everybody's the, doing and it. And the black girls. They get the natural big butt. They're like, make it bigger. Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> bigger. Right. More. <laughs> doing the lips. The li Oh, the lips. Y'all got to chill. Like you said, the, the soup cooler, though. the fake man. Look, dude, this looks the girls do like this. The thing is, I don't understand this. Like, I don't either. Kim Kardashian do. Why are we doing this? But it's too big for your face. It is. Like, it's when it's not natural. Do it. Yeah, they always do it, and their lips are like, like you know when you do the Pringles. Like when we were kids, we used to put. The oh Pringles yeah, yeah, like put the that. two right there. It's like that for a little face. It doesn't look that great together. Yeah, that's why I said I think you'd be excited, but <laughs> women have evolved. Yeah, but they're still doing the big lips. Sorry, Ralphie, but now. Yeah. They're doing the big butts, too. Yes, every girl the big, is big doing butts. the squats or the shots, either one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Squats and shots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab a little skinny white girl butt. You wouldn't even get butt nowadays. You get, like, knee joint and spine. <laughs> I like something you can grab a hook up, just a big shot. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's a ham bone right there. Look at that thing. My bust. <laughs> I think it all started with them stupid lowrider cup pants are making y'all wear them look dumb ass, too tight for your britches, tight ass, stupid ass pants. Y'all know what pants I'm talking about? Down. You got to shave or it pokes out the top like a line claw. No, I like those biggest pieces with those. You know what pants? I'm talking about coming three inches of camel toe and a yeast infection. Oh, yeah. Why do you think you're wearing them damn pants? No wonder you can't come. You, you got a callus down there on it. <laughs> Thank God for black girls and Mexican girls. Ooh, they got too much butt to wear them little britches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Black girls get them pants all the way up. And the extra bus taking out the top, be like, open up a can of biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because now you see mm. that is where that's where it came from. The yeah. recreate, the Im the imitate. Yeah. You know, I was actually gonna say that because when I was a teenager and the low rise pants were a thing, mm. we used to hate that because granted. I don't have the biggest body features, right. but they were bigger than the girls who would wear those low rise pants. And if mm. you would accidentally buy a pair, they wouldn't fit. Like they wouldn't come all the way up over. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you would literally be stuck like, I can't wear these. I'm you sorry. Sit like, down too far. You have too much of a curve. No, it won't even come up. You know what I mean? Oh. That was a real issue back then. Cause we was like, this stupid pants, who could wear these? Never but, thought about it. Now no one can wear them because the people that you know, Starbucks has done something to yeah. <laughs> Star I must be the extra dairy. Yeah. Because now all the girls that drink Starbucks they get the huge the huge cans. Yeah, that's true. I'm talking about the bottom can, not the top can. The top can. The top cans too. 
Okay, yeah. we're done here. Um, <laughs> we're done with that conversation. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm about to say, about what do you guys Mr. think? Mr. Ralphie May. Ralphie May talking about not working out. Yeah, right? I mean, totally with it, though. Working out is so overrated. It does. It sucks. We walked four miles yesterday. Yeah. It sucked. And only because it was such a beautiful day did it not suck as bad. Because I felt good. What do you think it's going to feel like today when we get out there? I don't want to go today. It's cloudy and rainy and cold, y'all. This is what I'm saying. I don't like doing this, but I like to, you know, do what we gotta do. We have to do what we gotta do, you know? Get up. <laughs> we're walking five <laughs> miles. Just because of that, we're walking five miles. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, tell yes. us what you think about Ralph. You may not like working out. I hate working out. We hate working out. But yeah. follow us here. We're here. We're yeah. 81,000 strong here on the Good Time Crew, and we're looking to advance to 100. 100. So, uh, yeah, let's keep these numbers running up. Let's talk about yes. some stuff. And we'll see you next time. Drink your water. <laughs>